Welcome back everybody to a new episode here on Breaking Bedrock and today's episode will be most likely all surrounding building stuff. I want to show you how I build my things, you know, not just the final product, like kind of how I did this thing. I kind of want to show you my steps on to building and upgrading all of my buildings right now. Um, I'm not gonna upgrade these two just yet. I'm still this that one is temporary This one I'll most likely do a bit a bit bigger and change it a little bit But now going on to this one. This one will be my storage building I want to have like a couple buildings coming around here and make this thing look like a village of some sort So let's start off with this one the third thing you can actually see is that I have different colored planks on the floor. That's one of the things that I advise you to do in your builds. But not just this, this is not the final step. Pretty much what I did was just dig the entire space of the floor, then just got a random stack of wood. Like this is exactly uh, two stacks of planks of spruce and nearly two stacks of uh, oak planks. So pretty much you just go around and just splash them all around with one color, like I first did spruce and then I came afterwards and I did the oak. Then what you want to be doing to, if you want to upgrade this thing even more, just randomly cut parts of the floor, like so, not the, the structure itself. And of course you have to pick everything up. And then what you're gonna be, what you want to be doing is like get over here and like maybe two spruce logs here, maybe one here, one here. I was kind of, I'm feeling one like this here, one here, and another one here, and maybe even this thing here, maybe around here as well yeah and you want to get like a lot more if, you, if you're doing this and then you just do this you just turn them into stripped strip the logs so i still have one more i'm gonna put it here and this is the spruce and then you can also do the same with oak like Get around here, put one there. Uh, I kind of want to put one here. Maybe like one here, one here, and one over here. And maybe here, just one, two. Real quick. Yeah. And then you want to go around and just do the same thing. You want to strip every single one of the locks so they actually match the covers. Of the respect of uh, the respective wood now you can notice that i didn't fill every single one of the holes that i actually dug like in the wood because sometimes you actually feel like some uh, an area may be saturated with some strip logs so you may just want to go back and replace the the ones that you took out and not necessarily in the same order you can just look at it and go with what you think will look better on that spot now let's cover a little bit of the structure as you can see i have four on this side four on this side and a gap in the middle this thing goes the same way on all sides with them having a go a technically a one two three four five six seven so they're pretty much a nine like nine on this side and seven on this side this is how i designed this particular building i wanted it to have the same length on each side Though one of the things that you can actually do is like this wall could be a little bit closer to here and it would actually give a, drift, a different vibe to the building, you know. It would be a little closer to here, so this would be like the back wall of the building. And that thing would be much more established if you just push this thing a little bit over here. Uh, and But I wanted this exactly how it is because of the way that I'm going to do the roof. I want this thing to look the same thing from every single direction. And the way that I'm gonna do this is gonna, I'm going to do a roof that peaks 
into a tower that goes a little bit higher and there's some other stuff at the top but i want to do it like escalating a lot more and give it like a big peak everything going down to the to the center here and i'm going to do this on the all four sides and let me actually take flight and the way that i'm going to do this it will look like every single one of the roofs like uh, these sites are actually supports for the tower that i'm gonna do the tower will be going somewhere like to this height over here this thing could actually be even bigger if i wanted to but i think this is actually the perfect size for what i have in mind and then i'm gonna have a a roof that goes and peaks up into the tower and merges with the tower itself and then the tower keeps climbing a little bit and then there's like a, a top part of the tower where I can maybe just jump off or something like that. So this is how one side of the roof will be looking like though I already made a f quite a few changes because this thing was going a little bit like um, a little bit more than I would like to, so I had to like smooth it down at the top, but I think it looks better. And I know this is already like a little bit under the, over the top, like for a <laughs> starter thing. But if you're making a house, the first thing I advise you to do while concerning the roof, that make the base shape of it. I know that my base shape is already a little bit like Nat more natural like that as a it has a like a lot of work into it but if you just want to do like a regular one like just imagine imagine you just wanted to do like straight lines here you don't want to do this thing over here you can do that and all the steps that i'm going to talk talk about next will also apply so after you've done the base shape of the of the roof uh, i advise you to step back and you can actually try and look to see if you like everything about it. One thing I can tell you right now is that that thing over there, that gap, needs to go. I don't like that gap and how it is standing over here. Uh, because it just makes it like there's a dip here, like a hole. And I don't want that hole to be here. So, in order to do this, it's just easy. I'm gonna do this this and most likely finish up with this thing and I can add here like another slab so it adds the going up feel still and now let's see how it looks yeah I like that part a lot better now the well, this is a viking themed storage house so this part over there needs to have a little bit of more uh, hump like some people would say so let me see what I can manage to do there. Yeah, I think this is gonna be it, you know. I think I'm gonna leave it like this. Uh, if I find a better version, I'll do it later. Uh, so afterwards, after you have like the base design set, uh, if you did it like me, if you only did like one, if you have like multiple parts of a, of a roof, uh, now that you have this one, you wanna put it on all four sides if you're doing something like this. Now, since you already most likely have the entirety of the roof, you need to think about how you're going to do the entrances. And this is how I made this one. So I actually needed to, I had to push this thing backwards. Like this wall was here and I had to push it over to here. Uh, mostly because if this thing was pushed forward, it was just way too flat. And by doing this, I gave me more space to add details over here. Uh, I can just put a fence gate, a uh, fence here, not a fence gate, fence here, a fence here, put some lanterns on top, and there's lighting for the front door, uh, like I have here, you know, do this on those sides, and there's lighting over there, and I'm going to use the same thing to fill in these walls but these walls will not have entrances so these walls will be mostly flat i could come later and add some details you know maybe like around the back or something like that uh, maybe in the future they could become doors i don't know but the, the base thing is this one 
but I'm gonna leave it like this for now because this is easy to replicate on the other sides. If you don't like this thing, you can just replace this and then add another, and add another one like this and just do this thing entirely like this. You can even put it in put some things on the inside if you want to but I don't like it on the inside because it can put it all the way around so I put it uh, the trapdoors here I think it look, gives a little bit of a of an edge there you know and uh, I think it looks a little bit better now on to the tower in the middle and this is how I envision my tower and there's still like that top part missing right there but this is the fundamental work that I, that I did for like the, the walls here around and the thing on the top. The, the roof is actually pretty similar to this. Uh, there's only like a few things I still need to go and change like that spruce log showing there and I still need to do some work on those edges like and on these pillars right here so I can actually decorate it for the outside. I also decided to add a little bit more thing around the front you know I added this so I can actually grab a few of these so two perfect and place them on here. I cannot place anything here because of this trapdoor. I could remove it uh, but I think it looks good this way, you know, this thing will grow, it will give like a red cover here, it will actually give it a little bit more cover. I put a lantern there, so it has a little bit more light, and I need to most likely put some other lanterns here, or maybe hit them down in the grass while I, when I decide to terraform all of this area right here. But the top part, let me actually show you how I've done this the this wall okay so this wall you can actually see that there are blocks of glass here even though that the wall goes inside though this texture pack that we have here on the, on the realm actually makes it so that the, the glass is as connected textures and this thing is good because you cannot see I mean you can barely see while you're far away that this is a block and not like a glass pane and even though you can see that this thing goes inside you cannot tell that the glass is like miles away from the wall and I'm using trapdoors yeah this is only like a trapdoor here uh, this has me helps me have uh, texture to the wall you know with color and with depth I could also just uh, expand these ones I can make it the same height as this but I kind of like the idea that it flows in and then out like this it makes like a, a novel shape here and or I could even just do this like this is three this is one I could make these ones five three and five and that way this would have a like a bigger impact but, but I like this this is like a subtle change that I did the roof is one of the ways that I'm starting to do my roofs right now and I'm thinking of changing the spruce to dark oak I just need to get dark oak first but I'm probably going to change this into a dark oak so it can actually be a lot darker than the thing at the bottom and it will give a, like a stronger vibe you know like this thing is like not older but more decayed than the rest of the wood down uh, because it's so high up it could maybe snow here actually now that I'm thinking about it um, but yeah this is how I went with uh, let me see if I can show you yeah there's like a stair there like this is the top block this is seven tall I think and it's like the seventh on the sixth I place a stair then I put that in then I just start bring it in forward and I could even bring it like one extra one further and I might just because of those things I have there um, I might just give it an extra push because I have these things let me see if I can oh nearly okay I have those things there like an extra 
pillar there because I'm gonna hang up lanterns on those and those will give light and make like there's some lights on these walls and you can actually see them from farther away and also and it's not just like a pure dark tower and now I need to get up okay there we go and this is how it looks I call around yeah, I think it looks pretty good. I still need to take care of that spruce one, but I kind of want to see if I can get dark oak. Uh, because I'm pretty sure that this thing will look a lot better if I put dark oak on the roof. Yeah, I think I really like that thing there. Like the design over here overall, I think it looks pretty good. And I really needed to change that thing into some dark oak. I think it's a lot better now. I kind of want to put like... That's a slab here, like here. Yeah, I kind of want to do this. Let's see if it looks better. I still need to go and buy more rockets from Spoon Shop. Hopefully, yeah, some. And of course, I miss. That's no problem. I can just go up here. And now that I've done this, uh, yeah, I kind of like. It looks like a little bit of a Japanese roof. Uh, but let's see how it looks like after I'm done with this top part over here, which is what I'm going to do right now. And I also installed water elevators to go up and to come down. Only these first ones though. Um, I'm now working on these two. I'm not sure about this thing here. I tried with some trap doors down uh, like this. I tried it like this, but I felt like the ground was just getting loaded with stuff because it means that I'm uh, occupying five blocks here, other five here. These glass panes make it so I cannot build here, 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 and here. So I end up with very little space to put stuff in here. So I kind of don't want to do this here. I may just put carpets later, like on these corners. And I'm still uncertain what I'm going to do with this particular area. Um, maybe like some like some workstation blocks, like looms, uh, an ender chest, that's always good. But although those blocks, you know, like uh, all the things that I may need to just instead of having them down there in the middle of the chests I could have them up here a fletching table a smithing table some anvils and stuff like that and it can go down easily onto here I was thinking about putting chains but I think the iron bars look a little bit better they look more solid so this thing doesn't look that much out of place and spoons already building his farm for the contest wait someone phoned me oh here's the man He's the man himself. So now I need to get some more water to continue on with the water elevators to the top. And I need to finish up that thing and see how it looks in the end. And now the roof part is completely done. I think I'm pretty happy with how that that top, top piece, God, I can't talk, top piece turned out. But now there's the issue of these ones. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to do this because I cannot push them in. Then there's two things you can do. One of them is hide this part as best as you can with like leaves, uh, some water, some fountains, or maybe just had some stuff around the corners. And that's most likely the thing I'm going to do. Or you can add outside of the wall. So imagine. And you can, this thing, this way, you're adding texture or volume to a place that once had nothing. So that's good. And then you have like a lot, lots of ways to deal with this. Let me just sleep. Yeah, but that way is probably the hardest way to make look good. So the way I'm going to tackle this thing is by adding stuff all around the house so you don't actually notice that this thing is flat because there will be stuff that you're going to be looking in the front so the first thing I'm, go I'm doing right here it's the same thing 
that I did with this one, you know, just had some, some grass blocks. I mean, I put it dirt, but it will grow into grass and add like these things with some, add some trap doors and put like some flowers. So you can actually say that this is a flower pot or what I did around the back, which I could still do. I could still put this thing like these ones here and you have this, but I don't like this. I don't like them here. I like that this way because it looks a little bit more natural, you know, but this is still not what I'm going to go with. What I'm going to go with is the use of bamboo and I should be using my ax. I got like one bamboo and this thing and he always catches the bamboo. Um, so I got like one piece and it's now multiple, multiplied into all of these ones. So what I'm going to do on every single one of the corners is make it look like, like a little bit of a small sanctuary and it's raining, uh, of course. So this is my idea to get people distracted of the plain walls. So pretty much I'm going to do a single thing on every single corner. So it's not like the same thing over and over again. Like this one is a bit of a, like an oasis, you know. It has a bamboo, it has some, some sugar cane, like a pond of water where I can actually come here and refill my bucket whenever I need to. So that's pretty handy because this is an infinite water source right here. So that's a cool thing that I can actually use right now. And on the other corners, I'm going to like, this will be the trademark. There will be a fence post going all the way down and I need to cover up this hole. This is just going to a random cave, by the way, there's nothing more there. I need to cover up all this, get some fences. And fences and fence gates are really a cool way for you to add small details to places that people didn't think that you could actually add more details to. Uh, one thing that I'm going to show you right now uses fence gates. Can you see the fence gates? Yeah, they're right over here. And this is a trick that I learned from other YouTubes like by watching them. If you put a fence gate there and you open it, it looks like it's supporting the thing above. And this thing can add you like so much without you even noticing because it helps break the illusion that you cannot put anything there because it will like ruin it. But it goes so smooth. And if you have like a fence post or something nearby, it will even add to the idea that it is actually supporting the roof. Let me put all four sides and I need one more. And over onto this side, I wanted to add like to one of my oldest tricks right now. And that just puts like a bunch of logs down, put like a stone cutter here. They should make a sawmill block by the way. And it just looks like it's an area for people to come and chop wood. And since it's like a pretty big building that requires a lot of wood, this thing's like people would actually use this to make this thing. So this is like a really cool detail that, that you can actually put on these corners. And the other thing is that once you have like, I usually build on a flat area like this, there's literally nothing. But afterwards, once you're building and you want to start decorating, you should just get like a like bone meal, just bone meal is enough, just bone meal around your stuff. And this way, I can make things look a little bit more natural, like this thing, Looks a lot better now that I just put it like some random. Like this is like, like two bone meal. I just placed a two bone meal down, and now I just some random grass growing. It looks like it's a little bit more old, you know, and it's like a. It's it has a more feel. It has a better feeling of enclosure right now around this. Okay, and this side is much more of a personal preference. So I made like a tiny house for two wild foxes. Look, she's sleeping. And I put in some berries so they can actually eat. And to, this is to keep them safe from the the wolves. Yeah, so I just have been giving like some cute little touches here and there. You know, I just started to organize my stuff on all of these chests. Still got like random chests that need stuff. And of course I go up and there's still nothing here. 
Here there's a fish <laughs> for some reason and actually I made this so I can start gathering some oak. It's just easier, it just helps me have my, my oak farm here, don't need this anymore. And I also improved the shop, the shopping district, but that's something that I can show you on the next episode. I put like these this cute rails here. So it, it feels like these logs are actually held down by these ones, so that's cool. And yeah, I think that's it. There's still some things that I still need to go around doing, like the ceiling of this. I don't like how it looks. I still need to go and put some stuff over there. Uh, but that's something I can do like off camera. There was a creeper that blew up here. No, two creepers actually. One right over here. It blew up all of these chests. I had to remake them. Uh, that was not fun. That was not fun at all. I got some vines. I kind of want to do a vine farm because I could get a lot of mossy cobblestone with this. Um, and that's like a few other things that I kind of want to, uh, kind of want to do and kind of need to do around this. But that's actually going to wait for now. Uh, this episode is now fully done, and hopefully you guys enjoy this. This will hopefully help you build better stuff. You know, hopefully. Yeah, and on the topic of building better stuff, I think I'm gonna just do a rebrand of my normal series, not here on Breaking Bedrock, and that will actually be more focused on building. So if you want to have more building tips and stuff like that, go to the other series on the channel. Here on Breaking Bedrock, we're gonna focus more on like some farms and stuff like that, because I can actually use them to get profits out of this. You know, get some diamonds from the shops and stuff like that. And on that other, and on that other world. We can actually build some pretty things and I can teach you guys how to make them. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed and see you in the next one. Goodbye.